So how do you know when you get an email if it's safe to click on it? Well, I'm going to show you. Here I have three emails in my inbox from US Airways reservations. And if I open the email, I can uh, first do a quick visual check to see if this email looks legitimate. So I go up to the top and I see it says it's from uh, reservations at myusairways.com. Looks legitimate, right? Well, you can look at the body of an email and you can do a quick visual check. And a lot of times you can tell right off the get-go here, this doesn't look right. The words are kind of mixed up. They don't really make a lot of sense. And it doesn't look, doesn't feel legitimate. Now, what's more important is this link here. And here's where it really would really cause you a problem. If you click on this link, this is when you're going to have problems. Like an infected computer, you're going to have problems. And if you look at the link, I know it looks like a bunch of just letters. Um, but if we take a moment and look at it, it'll help us to understand where the link is really going. So let me let me show you how that works. Now we look at a phone number. We can tell where a phone number is going based off what? The prefix, right? We see it says 559, and if you're in the Fresno Madera area of California, you know that that is uh, Fresno Madera areas. And you can tell just based off the prefix where this number is in the United States. Sometimes this will tell you where it's going, but really not always. So you know when you look at a number, within a moment, you can get a good idea of where that phone number goes. Well, it's the same thing with a URL, or a web page, or a, a link. When I look at this, I can tell exactly where this goes. And here's how, here's how we break that down. You want to look at, you got these dots right here. These dots are kind of like these dashes in a phone number. Okay, and they, they kind of tell you where this website is going. You want to look, instead of a phone number where it's the prefix, you want to look at the suffix or the last word after the dot. That's the most important part of this whole link. This is not really necessary or valid or, or related to what we're, we're doing here. The Anything after the slashes, that's not really a part of what we're looking at here. Anything before the last dot, I could have, I could have dot ca, dot us, dot me, dot whatever, I don't care. It's all about, well, you can't ever have two dots, but it's all about the last dot and the last word. That tells you where it goes, okay? So let's use your newfound uh, learning there training and look at this link. If I mouse over this link, identify the last dot and the last word. Did you find it there? It says topseoz.co.uk. So the last dot in the last word is dot UK. Well, if I could do a quick Google search, and I can see that if I search for dot UK, that is in the United Kingdom. Probably not an email that I am expecting to trust. Let's take that uh, method and let's look at this uh, Verizon Wireless email. Now, quick visual check. Wow, this looks really good. It looks very legitimate. Look at this, payment amount, 1615 bucks. That's going to make me wonder if I really paid them 600 bucks. I'm going to want to go click on this link and check this out. So here's your second learning. This link here says uh, A uh, A K I N G L O B A L, okay, or A K I N Global, however you want to say that. dot com. Well, that doesn't take me to some out of the country place. But what am I looking at here? It's a Verizon Wireless email. Do I really want to go to this A King or A K I N Global dot com? Well, I'll tell you right now that that's not a Verizon Wireless uh, website. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of, uh, just some simple logic will tell you that this is not right. And so even though it says it's from at verizonwireless.com up here, this is very easily spoofed. You can make this say whatever you want very easily. This whole email can be constructed. This is called the phishing attack. And they've constructed this email to take you somewhere else that, uh, that's, not, that's not legitimate. Especially when I, I mouse over different links and they're all going to different web websites, different places. I mean, that's obviously a problem. Now we have another one. Let's take a look. Uh, oh, here's an AT&T uh, wireless bill ready for review. So if I open that up, now up top, Outlook automatically prompts me and said, hey, this is a phishing message. It noticed that it was a problem. If you get one of these, you got to be really careful about the email. You need to really know that you expect this email before you click on anything inside this email. 
Uh, now it says it's from uh, at amcustomercare.att-mail.com. Okay, well, maybe a little cryptic if you're not sure. Uh, but I come down here and I look at this email. Quick visual check. Looks really legit. It's organized. It makes sense. Uh, it's clear English. It's got the logo. This looks like a legitimate email. Makes me really want to click on these links. Well, let's use your newfound training and mouse over a link and learn. Ah, advertise in internet.com. I bet that's not AT&T. Let's look at this one. Hmm, I don't think that's AT&T either. Can you start to see how when you mouse over these, hey, there's a .ws, you see that? Domain-name-registrations.ws. Remember, that's the last dot and the last word. Let's take a look at what uh, .ws is. .ws. So does this look like this is something that you want to uh, click on if it's in uh, Samoa here? Probably not a place that you want to go and click on. So you got to be really careful when you get these emails. Don't click the link. If it looks legitimate. Do a quick visual check. Mouse over the link first. Check out where it's going before you click on it. This will save you from identity theft, it'll save you from security on your computer, and it'll save you from a lot of hassle uh, if you just check the link before you click on it.